Right guys, I'm going to make an animated GIF out of an Illustrator file. So I've got an Illustrator file. I'm, I've built the ad in Illustrator because this will probably end up in Flash. But just to make an animated GIF, all we're going to do, this, this guy here is just set up on different pasteboards. So these pasteboards here, as you can see, there's four pasteboards and they're all 300 by 250. It's an MREC. They've got all the Illustrator elements on there and one little Photoshop file. And I want this as individual frames so I can animate them. So out of Illustrator, we want to export this. Okay, so I want to make a folder for that and just call it frames. I want to use all of my artboards. I want one to five and then just say export. Okay, so if anything, just change that to white instead of transparent. I don't need this because I have a white background, but just in case you don't, change it to white and go okay. And what that's done is it's given me a frame folder with a bunch of animations in it. I don't want this guy, I've got an extra one, so I'm just going to delete that. And now I've got my four frames that I want to animate. Okay, so into Photoshop now, just stock standard. You need this timeline thing down the bottom. If you don't have it open, it's window and open your timeline. Okay, so now this is a script we're doing. So I want to go to scripts, load files into stack, files, find my files. So I want that, holding command down. I want those four frames. So if I go open and OK, that will just chug along and it's put all my layers, it's made layers out of every one of my images. All right. so the next thing, I want to have this timeline across the bottom. And just be careful that you don't want video timeline, you want frame animation. So in my timeline, click frame animation and it produces this frame animation thing here. We still don't have the frames yet. So what we're going to do now is we want frames from all the layers that we have. So over in this little one here, make frames from layers. So as you can see, that's put them in. It has put them in a funny order. So just drag those guys around to get them in the order that you want. Okay, so if I click where it says once, if I make forever, if I hit play, it's just going to go really fast, which is useful if you want something to animate quickly, but we want to be able to read this. So I'm going to stop that. So what I, would, what I tend to do is put an overall time over all of them. So hold shift down, go from this guy to this guy, click on that and make them all one second. All right. So this first one's quite important. So I want that to be two seconds. And the last one, okay, so that one's two seconds, one, one, that's it. All right, so I've, if I play that, just to test it, two seconds, One's a little bit slow, so I might make both of these two as well. You can also say other and set your own time, but at the moment it's two, 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 and one. Okay, so we're done. That's got all the frames, tells me what I want to do. And now I want this to be a GIF. So I got the top here and say save for web. All right, it's good to have it on two up. It just seems to work. So at the moment, my current one is 293 and, it, and using if it's on 256 colors up here, it's going to be 28K file. So you can go through, looks wonderful, it looks exactly the same as the first one, but changing, getting sizes smaller is quite useful if it has to be smaller. So just say for argument's sake, this had to be 25K, you can see 28 there. If I take colors out of this job, so if I say 128, it's now gone down in size. So check that with the ones that have got colors in them. So if you say, for example, take it to four colors, it's gonna look rubbish, you can't use all the colors. So work your colors back off your timing. So we know that up here, this at 128K, it comes in at under 25K for size and it still looks quite good. It hasn't really affected the, it might be a little bit less quality, but it's fine. So that's all good. We've got a GIF, we've changed this guy up here to GIF up here. So if I just save that back into where I'm going, Okay, so if I save that one, that's done. So if I go back to my files, this is it here. So if I drag that over a browser, that's animated GIF right there. Okay, cheers for that. Lots of other videos, ronald.com.au, you can find them from there, but thank you.